Hi, um, I'm Parin. Um, I'm a first year student um, studying psychology and philosophy at the University of Oxford. I'm originally, I'm from Seremban in Malaysia. And yeah, this is my first time living outside of the UK. Your, your friends uh, looking around to raise money for other people? Yes. So um, I think I should first say that um, there is a student organization in the UK called the UKEC. And that's the United Kingdom and Ayer Council of Malaysian Students. And um, they've realized that, you know, with the late announcement and with things like that, it's been very difficult for many Malaysian students to go back home. And there's been a hashtag going around amongst the Malaysian students called um, hashtag Kita Jaga Kita, which means we look mm -hmm. after each other. Mm -hmm. And they've actually raised, I think, it was a fair bit of money because they wanted to subsidize, I think, 25 people. They would help send out forms and see who was eligible for this, who could not afford it, and subsidize, I think, 200 pounds of, or something of that sort. Don't, I'm not exact, but um, something of that sort of the people's ticket so that they could afford the flight back home. And I think not only have they reached that target, but they've surpassed the target uh, amount that they wanted to collect. And I don't mm. remember the target. It might have been about 5,000 pounds or something like that, but they did manage to do it. And um, yeah, so that's very promising. Excellent. One thing that I have um, forgot to mention was that um, Pembroke College, we have a welfare officer. And um, one of the things that, um, one of the things that the college is doing is that they're making welfare support available readily, even though they are working from home. So it's sort of like you have virtual drop-in sessions and even students are arranging for peer-to-peer -peer supporters are having virtual drop-in sessions. So they'll be available, let's say, on a platform from a certain time to a certain time. You just have to um, message them and then you can drop in for that. And have I you tried that? that? Sorry? Have you used that? I have, uh, myself, I have not used that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that facility. And I'm sure that a lot of people are using that facility. But not me at the moment, yeah. House okay. Party has been doing a good job for me. MS, the International Council of Malaysian Scholars and Associates. And one of the things that I'm planning at the moment, which is sort of keeping me occupied, is that we're planning. I don't know if you've been there. You might have been there before. Um, it's always at Sunway. It's the Malaysian Public Policy Competition. Mm -hmm. Have you been there before? Have you heard I, of it? I know about it, but I haven't been to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, I am in charge of organizing it this year. And um, one of the things that we are looking to do, but we are not really sure about it, but the people at Sunway were really happy or keen about doing it because we thought about talking about mental wellness or sort of um, how we can increase mental awareness and support in educational institutions, specifically for young people in Malaysia. And that was one of the things that we were thinking of talking about, um, aside from another topic of, I think it was about political engagement and increasing like sort of political education or engagement among young people. And we were thinking about it. I'll let you know how it goes, but you know, maybe if we do do mental health and awareness, maybe you could, we will need people who can come and advise us and give us more knowledge and to, to, to young people who want to make policies there. So, yes, I might contact you if that is okay with you. It's Absolutely. around August. Absolutely, yeah, okay. August. If, if, we're, if we're allowed to be in the same room together in August. Yes, but we are also planning to run it virtually because we do not want right. to cancel it. So we've actually made contingency plans. Uh, we, we followed a red, green, red, yellow, and a green. So red is, let's say, if the movement restriction order was still carried out, then we plan to do everything virtually. But let's say if they still allow for social distancing, then maybe the first few rounds with a lot of people will be done virtually, but the finals we want to do it one to one or in a small room with about less than 50 people. Fantastic. Good organization. Yeah, and obviously if everything goes well, then we can do it as physically as possible. So yeah. Wonderful.